Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create flickering lights all via a C Sharp script. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload about video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I have a simple scene set up here. It is from the Asset Store, and I've uh, reviewed it at one point. It's a, it's a nice little scene. Uh, but there are basically no visible lights on this uh, because we only want the flickering lights to be, well, we want them to be visible more than anything. So obviously you're going to need a light and this is going to work on any type of light. It doesn't matter whether it's a spotlight, point light, directional light, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to use point light for now. So if I go to game object, light, and go to point light, I'm going to place my light just inside uh, this ventilation system here. And I'm also going to take... Uh, hard shadows so we should be able to see some shadows on the floor here so we can see the flickering more intensely uh, I'm going to put the range up to 20 and intensity to 3 as well so in game view we can see how much of an impact this is going to have now uh, this will work with multiple lights as well each script is going to be individual to the specific light that we attach it to so like I said it's going to be done via C sharp script so right click create C sharp script we'll have flicker control now we're going to introduce random elements to this we're not going to have it flick on or flick off flick on flick off flick on flick off we're going to have it random the reason I want it random is because each individual light is going to be able to flicker on its own it's not going to do it in tandem with any other lights it's going to be completely random which adds a little bit more uh, intrigue to the game I guess so we can get rid of annotations and the start method because we don't need them. We're only going to use update. Uh, we need two variables. The first one is going to be a bool to see if the flickering is on or off. So true or false. And the other is going to be the time delay uh, between the flickering. Uh, and that's going to be the randomized number. So let's start with public bool is flickering. And by default, that'll be false. Second one is public float time delay semicolon. So what we're going to say is in the update method, we need to say if and in brackets is flickering equals false, then we do the following. And we're going to create a coroutine. So we're just going to put in here for now, start coroutine and in brackets, you can call this anything you want. I'm just going to call it flickering light. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Now, obviously, this will have a red jagged line underneath because we haven't actually written the coroutine yet. So for now, that will look like an error. But when we're finished, it won't be. So the next section, we need to go in a special sequence. So I enumerator and then call it this name that you've already written up here. So flickering light, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And the first thing we need to do is put is flickering equals true, semicolon. The reason we do this is because we don't want this to trigger over and over and over. We want the routine to go through before we sequence it again. So next we need to turn off the light that is on uh, the, well, the component rather than the light itself. So for this we go this dot game object dot get component in spiky brackets light open close bracket dot enabled equals false so this will turn the light off but actually keep the object active in the scene at this point we need to determine how long the time delay is going to be and this is where the random range comes in so time delay equals random dot range and in brackets a minimum and maximum so the minimum is going to be 0.01 f because it's a float maximum we'll set a 0.2 to f uh, for now so i guess it doesn't really matter what you have as your maximum you can have anything you want obviously the lower the maximum the more flickery it will become the higher the maximum the less flickery it will become so now we've set the time delay we have to wait for that amount of time so yield return new wait 
for seconds and in brackets time delay semicolon so here for example if we randomized 0.1 seconds we would then wait for that 0.1 seconds after that we can copy this line of code below and change it to true so we do that to turn the light component back on after that amount of seconds and after we've done that we can then redo time delay so we can randomize it once again and then wait for it once again now theoretically you don't have to do this random range line you could just wait for the exact same amount of seconds that it has uh, generated i should say before that i wanted to add this in to give a little bit even more randomness to it so then after we've waited again we can say is flickering equals true semicolon and save so now that coroutine will repeat itself because this if statement is going to be true therefore the coroutine will start all over again so this random flickering will occur on the line so head back into unity and when the script has compiled there we go we just need to add that script onto the point light or like i say whatever light you've got and over here you've just got the is flickering and time delay variables so if we press play now we should see the flickering occur and it's decided not to do it properly okay so what have we gone oh that's because i put true down there <laughs> that should be false I, I um i was getting ahead of myself so i put true down there it's actually false obviously now if you guys spotted that that was a genuine well no it, it was done on purpose it was done on purpose guys just so you'd see and then shout me in the comments to see jimmy you did it wrong i knew what i was doing so we'll see the flickering now because the routine goes as so, and we should see the flickering. There we go. And remember earlier I said the lower the number, the more flickery it becomes. So let's reduce that to 0 0.1 instead of 0 0.2. Head back into Unity. Press play again. And we'll see the flickering is quicker. There we go and i'm not going to bother doing it all the way up to like one second or something you, you can you get the idea so obviously this will work with any light now uh it's not restricted to any one particular light we could duplicate this bring it over here to to this light and change it to red i guess and let's i don't know duplicate it once again and i don't know bring it up somewhere there and let's have that as blue and let's press play and just see what it looks like this is going to be a little bit crazy so if you've got epilepsy probably should look away so there we go that's how we can get flickering lights looking crazy uh, just for, for good measure i'm actually going to change our original light to green just just to see what it looks like nice okay guys well that is how we can create random flickering lights in unity with a c-sharp script i hope that's helped and uh, i hope that's useful for your game thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial